everyone, my name is Michelle Blackwood from Health Your Steps. I'm so excited because it's camp meeting time and as usual, I'm going to be sharing with you my amazing recipes. I know it's virtual, but we're just gonna have just the same fun today. And don't forget, you can check out my recipes. They're all over on healthiersteps.com where I have over 700 recipes. And also, if you want a piece of me, you can also buy a copy of my cookbook. It's on Amazon. It's Healthier Steps, 125 gluten-free vegan recipes. And today, I'm going to be sharing with you my quinoa, rice, and peas. Not regular rice, but I'm gonna be using quinoa. And also, for those who don't know, my husband is the ranger of the campground. So this year, I'm not gonna be seeing you, but I'm sending you a virtual hug. Okay, so for the recipe, I'm going to share with you all the ingredients. The first ingredient I'm gonna share with you is quinoa. So rice and peas is traditionally made with rice, but today I'm using quinoa. If you've never heard of quinoa, if you've never tasted quinoa, this recipe is a must try. If you're familiar with Jamaican rice and peas, and I know all my Jamaicans out there know rice and peas because we eat it almost every week. It is served for lunch, for dinner, it's served during the week, it's served on the weekend. It's such a popular dish. It's Jamaican as, as, as ackee and sawfish. <laughs> but anyway guys, this quinoa, why I like quinoa, because it cooks in 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes and it's cooked. It's not, a, it's not, it does, it's not high in carbs. It's actually high in protein and it's not even a grain, it's a seed. And it has all the nine essential amino acids. So it's a complete protein. So you wanna include this in your diet. It's high in fiber and it's very good for your immune system. So you need to try out quinoa. Okay, the next ingredient is kidney bean. This kidney bean has been soaked and it's been cooked and it's very good. It'll give it a nice color to your quinoa rice and peas. To start, I'm using coconut milk. And you can use fresh coconut milk or you can use coconut milk from the can. I'm only using one cup. And next, I'm adding water. Next, you wanna add your seasonings. And I have scallion or green onions, garlic, onion, and ginger. Okay. I'm adding my salt. And you can season to taste. I'm using pink Himalayan salt because it has more minerals in it than regular salt. Next, we're adding thyme. I'm using fresh thyme. You can substitute with dry thyme. Next, I'm using pepper. I'm using, you can use, this is for flavor. You can use scotch bonnet pepper, but I don't open it. I don't cut it open. I'm using whole pepper, and I'm, this one is the seasoned pepper from Trinidad. I like the flavor. That's why I'm using that, but you can use scotch bonnet pepper. Also, I'm using my kidney beans. It's been boiled. And kidney beans will add color. And next I'm adding my quinoa. So basically it's been washed. My quinoa has been washed. And you wanna make sure you use a fine mesh strainer because anything larger, it will escape through it down the drain. So I love to wash my quinoa. Okay, we're just gonna stir everything. See the colors of the peas with the quinoa. And you're gonna bring it to a boil and let it cook. And it will cook for about 20 minutes. You're gonna just cover it, bring it to a boil, and let it cook. Sometimes what I like to do is add a sheet of parchment paper to seal it to make sure it cooks nice and fluffy.
here's the finished dish. Isn't it beautiful? And look how fluffy it is. Perfect. Tastes perfect. You have to try it. So delicious. I have to take a bottle back. Mm-hmm. <laughs>